Sicilian Defense, Open, Classical, Richter Rosser Variation, 6, E67.QD2 A68.000BD79.F4H610.BH4G5. Sudden a close game that was lost by a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above Black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. When black eventually plays nf6, white is prevented from moving the piece to e5 by the opening of the light squared bishop on d6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. cx d4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. Nx d4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. Nc3 defends the e4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. Nc6 attacks the d4 knight and supports the e5 square. Bg5 immediately attacks the knight on f6 and prepares the possibility of queenside castling. E6 defends the d5 square and allows the dark squared bishop to develop to e7. Qd2 supports the bishop on g5 and prepares to castle queenside. A6 sets up the pawn drive at b5 and prevents the white pieces from approaching b5. 0-0-0 gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Bd7 develops the light squared bishop, defends the knight on c6 and opens up the c8 square. F4 takes space in the center, supports the bishop on g5 and controls the e5 square. H6 attacks the bishop on g5, forcing it to either retreat to safety or capture the knight. Bh4 avoids the peace exchange and retreats the bishop to a safe square while keeping the knight pinned. G5 attacks the h4 bishop and prepares to sacrifice a pawn in order to distract the f4 pawn from controlling the e5 square. Capturing that pawn wins material. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. It is the last book move. This exposes a bishop attack. It is ideal. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. That's good. This misses a chance to imply that gaining a knight is possible. It is incorrect. This permits the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is an inaccuracy. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a knight in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. There is a better way to get a knight to safety than this. It is incorrect. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. This puts pressure on the pinned bishop by adding an attacker, which is a powerful resource because a pinned piece cannot move away from the attack. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This misses an opportunity to capture a free bishop. It is a miss. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This misses a chance to contest the open file with the opposing rook. It is incorrect. This poses a threat to strike a knight. That's good. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to challenge the opposing rook for the open file. This allows the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. This blocks the attack on a knight that could have been captured. This is the only move that works. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is a great move. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. 
This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. That's good. This avoids the knight's check. It is quite good. Recaptures, from a previous move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. That's good. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. That rook was free for the taking. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. This stops the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. It is quite good. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 